All right, boys and girls, I guess you have set up your plane and you're ready to travel to the Philippines. Before we do, we want to fill out our flight map. So let's look at the map one more time to see where the Philippines are. Now, we started here, Mexico, Italy, Germany, now way over here to the Philippines. China is above the Philippines and Australia and Indonesia are below. So we're gonna have to find this on our flight map. Let's go get our flight maps. All right, so get out your flight map, find it in your book. And so far you should have your lines drawn and we're currently in Germany. So we're gonna fly from Germany all the way to the Philippines. Now, look at this. I had to draw the islands. This map is not very detailed. So this is China, this is Australia. I want you to draw some tiny little islands right there, okay? Remember I said, the Philippines have over 7,000 islands. So you need to just draw a few islands between China and Australia, and then just put a dot in the middle, like that. So I drew some with pencil, put a dot in the middle, and then I'm gonna go from Germany to the Philippines, okay? So draw some islands with a pencil, put a dot in the middle, and then connect your line from Germany to the Philippines. All right, if you're not done with that, give yourself a second, pause the video if you have to, okay? All right, now we are going to um, find our ticket to the Philippines. Find your ticket. Also, get out your passport. Get out your passport, okay? Get out your ticket and your passport. And then we're gonna go over. Now, this takes a lot of pretending, and we'll do it here in school, but you also can do it at home with your lovies. Maybe you have a brother and sister, or a brother or a sister, or maybe even mom's available, but if not, you can pretend. You can do it yourself. Oh, let me get my chair. Thank you, Mrs. Dale. You're welcome. All right. So it is time to go through security. So you need to get out your ticket for the Philippines, and you need to get out your passport and you also need to have your luggage. All right, here we go. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Where are you headed to? To the Philippines. Okay, let me check your passport. Okay. All right, I need to have your luggage. I'm gonna run it through security. Beep, 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 beep. Oh no, I wonder what you put in here, let me see. Oh, you know what, no water bottles, mm. sorry. No oh, water no. bottles. All right, it's good now. Okay. All right, you can take your passport and your ticket and your luggage and you can line up to get on the plane. Thank you. All right. Chair too. All right, we're gonna get Pigeon. He's gonna be our pilot again. All right, Pigeon. Are you ready to fly the plane? Pigeon loves to drive things. Here we go, Pigeon. All right, you were a good pilot last time. <laughs> All right, okay, come on in. Hi. I'll have your ticket. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Ooh, hi, Pigeon Pilot. Ooh. All right, 
Make sure your seat belts are fastened. Put your luggage underneath your seat, please, and sit up nice and tall. We're about to take off. Captain Pigeon is going to take over now. All right, this is your Captain Pigeon. Uh, we will be taking off. Please make sure your seatbelt's buckled. Here we go. Going down the runway is a little bumpy. All right, here we go up. Ooh. All right. This is your Captain Pigeon speaking. It's a long flight from Germany to the Philippines. So we are definitely going to play a movie for you. We're going to put on Finding Nemo. Mm -hmm. And you will be able to choose between chicken dinner and a fish dinner. Your waitress or your flight attendant will be coming by. Hi, would you like a chicken or a fish? All right, there you go. And what would you like? Would you like uh, milk or would you like a water? Chicken or a fish? Yes. Milk, water? Yes. Okay. All right. Hello, Mr. Knuffle Bunny. Would you like milk or some water? Water? How about you, Piggy? Water? Perfect. Chicken or fish for your meal? Okay. There you go, guys. Oh, hello. Hello. Would you like chicken or fish for your meal today? Chicken, please. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Would you like some water? Yes. Okay. Here you Thank go. Thank you. All right. Let's... Enjoy our movie. Enjoy your meal. And enjoy the movie Finding Nemo. All right, boys and girls, uh, ladies and gentlemen, our flight to the Philippines is so long that we are now going to turn off the lights. We're going to turn off the movie. We we're going to ask that all of you t shut your windows so that everybody can get a little rest. All right, have a good rest. Customs, please. This is serious business. You need to have your passport out. <clears throat> I will call you when, when I'm ready. Those, pass, those custom people can be crabby. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Step forward, ma'am. Okay. All right. Now, why are you in my country? Um, to enjoy Christmas. Okay. How long are you going to stay? Um, a week. All right. I can let you stay a week. Okay. I'm going to give you my stamp. And 
enjoy my country. Can I see your suitcase? I'm gonna put your ticket in your suitcase so you don't lose it and you have a good memory. All right. Thank you. Enjoy the Philippines. I will. All right, boys and girls. So I want you to just watch a few seconds of this video. In the Philippines, do you guys, let's look at the map really quick. Do you guys remember that line that I showed you right here? It's in the middle, it's an invisible line. See this dotted line? It's not a real line, but it's called the equator. It's the middle or the fattest part of our uh, globe and, <clears throat> or our planet. The Philippines are, is really close to that. So we know the closer you are to the equator, the warmer it is, okay? So the Philippines, it's gonna be nice and warm there. So I wanted you to look at this video so you could see that in the Philippines, it's warm at Christmas time. Now, it's about 70, so it's not hot, but that's as cold as it gets there. So that's their cold time, and they're still wearing shorts and t-shirts, and it's like 70. It's still super nice, okay? And they love to decorate. So I want you to see how much they decorate. We're just gonna watch a, like a minute of this. Look how pretty they make their country. And you can also listen to them sing in their language. Here we go. Here, I'll rewind it because I wanted you to see this part. Here we go. Mm. Isn't that pretty? And we're going to talk about those stars in the trees. Look at all those lights on the buildings. They decorate a lot. Everything is lit up, even the playground. All right. So I just wanted you to see a little bit of what that looks like. Now, another thing is, do you know what the trees are? Are you okay, Mrs. Yes, Taylor? I'm fine. Okay. Um, Sorry about that, Mrs. Taylor. <laughs> do you know what the trees are called that we use to decorate here in the United States? Does anybody have any guesses? They're called evergreens. That means they stay green all year long. They never have the leaves fall off, they stay green. That's what we use for our Christmas trees. That's, that's what we decorate. Now, in the Philippines, they don't have evergreen trees. So they use palm trees and different mm -hmm. kinds of trees to decorate. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. Because of where they live, it's hot, they don't have evergreens, okay? I have to take a sip. <laughs> okay, so let's read our story. All right, Christmas in the Philippines. And you will see in the decorations, there's a lot of stars. They're made out of bamboo, which is a very light wood that you can get in the Philippines and tissue paper, okay? 
They call them perils. All right, Christmas in the Philippines. Welcome to the Philippines. During Christmas, this island country is called the land of fiestas. Filipinos say their Christmas celebrations are the longest and the most joyful in the world. In this country, Christmas celebrations begin on December 16th. The festivities end on the first Sunday in January. This day is known as the Feast of the Three Kings. So when the, when the kings come and bring baby Jesus' gifts, that's when they end their festivities. But I have to tell you, they start decorating for Christmas and start singing Christmas carols and playing Christmas music in September. September, October, November, and December. They like to call them the Burr months. September, October, November, December. They celebrate for four months. That's crazy. That's when they start. Okay. Now, I'm gonna to try to teach you how to say Merry Christmas in the Philippines. And I have to tell you, this is the hardest one, okay? You say Malagayang Pasco. Malagayang Pasco. That is difficult, but you can do it. You just need to practice. Malagayang Pasco. Malagayang Pasco, which means Merry Christmas. Malagayang Pasco. The first Christmas, we celebrate this too. Christmas cele Christians celebrate the birth of Jesus at Christmas. It's the reason for the season, right? They believe that long ago, Jesus' parents, Mary and Joseph, traveled to Bethlehem. The town was very crowded. Mary was going to have a baby, so they had nowhere to stay. You know the story. So they spent the night in a stable where Jesus was born. Shepherds and kings came to the stable to celebrate his birth. All right, every time we, we turn the page, we're going to say Merry Christmas. Ready? Malagayang Pasco. Malagayang Pasco. Christmas celebrations. Church bells mark the start of Christmas in the Philippines. On December 16th, bells ring at 4 a.m. We learned that before, right? Super early. And they go nine straight days to church. On Christmas Eve, people go to midnight mass. They like to go really late. And then they stay up all night and open presents and party until really early in the morning. Christmas symbols. Brightly colored perils. That's the word I told you guys just a minute ago. Fill the streets and homes in Philippines during Christmas. Apparel is a five-pointed star that is often placed in a circle. Perils remind people of the star that the three kings follow to get to baby Jesus. Perils are made for bamboo and bright colored paper. Candles or other lights are placed inside the perils. Oh, turning the page, ready? Malaganyang Pasco. Christmas decoration. Perils are popular, but Filipinos also decorate. There are very few evergreens in the Philippines, just like I said that, remember? They don't have Christmas trees growing everywhere. So they have artificial trees or fake trees, or they use palm trees. Others make them out of cardboard. People decorate their trees with lights and ornaments. Ornaments are made from fruit, shells, and bamboo, because that's what they have a lot of, right? On the, on, uh, when you go to an island, if you've ever been, if you've are ever been so lucky to go to an island, you can find shells, right? All right, I'm turning the page, ready? Malagayang Pasco. Lolo and Lola. Grandparents play a special role in the Filipino Christmas celebrations. In the Philippines, they are called Lolo, Lolo, which is grandfather, and Lola, which is grandmother. During a family holiday feast, Lolo and Lola give gifts to their grandchildren. They usually organize games for the children to play. In one game, grandparents throw gold coins into the air. Then the children rush to grab the money. All right, we're turning the page, ready? Malagayang Pasco. Christmas presents. 
Christmas gifts in the Philippines are simple and useful. Many people get new clothes that they wear might wear to midnight mass. Uh, during Noche Buena celebration, people go from house to house visiting family. Children usually get a small gift at each house. Gifts may be toys, money, or sweets. Christmas, oh, we turned the page. Malagayang Pasco. Food covers family tables during Christmas feasts in the Philippines. During Noche Buena, at least 15 different foods are served. People enjoy chicken and rice soup. They ate spring rolls stuffed with meat and vegetables. And a pancake that's made with rice flour is a favorite dessert. The pancake, called bibing, bibinka, is cooked with milk, cheese, and duck eggs. It is served with coconut and brown sugar. That looks kind of tasty. All right, let's turn the page. Malagayang Pasco. Christmas songs. Young and old join together to sing Christmas songs in the Philippines. People sing every night. Beginning on December 16th, groups of children called Comboncheros sing as they go from house to house. Some play musical instruments. Now, this is what you're going to do next, okay? I want you to go Christmas caroling because that's really big in the Philippines. So what you can do is take, let's say, two teddies, put them in your bedroom, close the door, and then take a baby doll and put it in your mommy's bedroom, close the door, and then take um, another teddy bear or other stuffed animals that you have, put them in your kitchen, put them all over your house, and then you are going to be the Christmas caroler. Now, make your own musical instrument. So maybe you get a, um, do you have like a play area? Maybe you have a, a, a plastic plate and a spoon and you can make a banging instrument. Maybe you have some sort of jar that you can put some beads in and you can make a shaking instrument. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you are going to go caroling. You have to know at least one Christmas song and I'm sure you do. So maybe Jingle Bells or maybe Silent Night. So after you have your musical instrument, you're going to go around your house room to room, pretend like it's somebody living in there and you knock on the door. So you go knock, 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 knock. And when they open the door, you sing them a Christmas carol. You bang on your instrument, you shake your instrument, and you sing Silent Night. You sing Jingle Bells. I want you to go caroling around your house. Now you have to use, be good at using your imagination. And I know you guys are very good at using your imagination, okay? So you need to do this. It'll be so much fun. And that is really what the kids in the Philippines love to do. They go Christmas caroling all the time, okay? So we're gonna do that right now. But you have to do that at your house, okay? And maybe you can send me a video or a picture of you doing it um, so I can see. I would love to see that. I know Mrs. Dale would love to see that too, okay? All right, after you finish Christmas caroling, the, it is um, recess time. And after recess time, we have snack time. So I want you to go Christmas caroling, caroling have a little recess break, get a snack, and then after you do all that, I want you to put on video number three, okay? All right, I'll see you in a little bit for video number three.